Hi guys, uh, it's been a while since I've uh, done a video on this. Uh, I've been a bit ill, so uh, I'm feeling much better now. And uh, we're going to get on with it. So, if you've been following the Facebook group, you'll have seen um, that I've done some mock ups for the uh, uh, for the different views. This is a bit big. Let me just, uh, let me just resize this. Uh, so, I used um, just HTML to do some mock ups for what the different screens are going to look like. So this is the flight mode UI, and we're going to have uh, like a helm control in the corner here, which allows you to set your. Uh, it'll have a throttle slider. It'll have fuel st uh, percentage bars, uh, velocity readout. Uh, it'll have a bit of information about what is currently happening. So like what mode it's in, if it's in AI mode or whether it's in manual control mode, autopilot, on that sort of thing. Uh, and then we're going to have check boxes which allow toggling between modes. Let me just uh, make this a bit bigger. Oops. Where did it go? There we go. Okay, that's a bit better. So that's going to be the helm control. We're then going to have a panel at the bottom which will be able to minimize and maximize, and that's going to have hull status. It's going to have toggle buttons for the weapons, and it's going to have toggle buttons for the ship's modules. Then there's going to be this button here will show and hide this area, and then this area will have its own show and hide. Um, and these will all concertina up from the bottom. So in this area here, it's going to have uh, all of the ships that are nearby, or the ships, all the objects that are nearby. So it'll be asteroids, it'll be ships, it'll be stations, all that sort of stuff. Uh, a lot of these will be unknown contacts at a later, at a later date when uh, I've got like kind of sensor fidelity added into the game. Uh, these will be unknown, and you'll be able to target them, and you know, put your active sensors on them to work out what they are, that sort of thing. Uh, and then down here, we've got a uh, a filter panel for this, which will allow you to filter by turning on and off, uh, like you know, display all, don't display unknown, only display unknown, that sort of thing. And then we'll have a, a sort by, and that was going to sort by range, so closest to the top, furthest at the bottom. Hazard, which will be most dangerous at the top, least dangerous at the bottom, and then default. And I think the default will probably be a mixture between range and uh, ra range and size, something like that. I'm not quite sure. But it'll probably mix it up into like friendlies, and then enemies, and then neutral, and then unknown, or something like that. And then at the top of the thing, we have uh, the GUI, uh, sorry, the, the top menu. Uh, so the top menu has a toggle GUI button, and that will show and hide all of the all of the uh, all of the any GUI that's on the screen at the moment so that goes into like kind of you know cinematic mode or whatever uh, flight mode will take you to the screen where you can fly your ships around and switch between different ships in the fleet the ship manager the inventory the colony manager and the production manager is are a later date but they'll allow you to configure your different ships configure the inventories of your, your different ships and stations uh, build and design colonies and then set up production systems so you can build items on your colonies. Uh, the character screen will allow you to edit your own character, um, so like change your username and password, that sort of stuff. And then the comms menu will open up a, another panel on the screen somewhere which will have your chat menu. And that will be a combination of chat between the AIs so you can like uh, request docking clearance at stations, uh, start conversations with uh, NPCs and it will also be local chat for other people that are in your multiplayer session uh, and you'll have probably at some point have like a, a fire team chat or a fleet chat and a um, a public chat and you know be able to toggle between private things that's all at a much later date though
All right, guys. So it was quite a long fast forward. I did uh, quite a bit of work, and then I went out and had lunch and uh, or dinner rather, and then came back. And uh, so I just put the finishing touches to the HP meter here and uh, the filter here. Um, I tweaked a few little things around, moved some stuff, we did some button GUIs, but the, the rough layout is all here. So this is now ref pretty much reflecting um, uh, what I had on the, the Facebook group the other day. There's a few things I want to change. I don't like the uh, these. I'm going to just change some of the colours on these so they look a little bit less weird. Uh, nothing actually works at the moment. If I uh, build and run, just pop it open in a window so you get a better view. The other problem I've got is at the moment with these size module buttons, it doesn't fit in a, a 10,024 wide window, which is the smallest resolution I want to target. So if I do 1024 by 780 and play, uh, you'll see it gets squished up in the bottom here. Yeah, you see it's, it's squashed up in the bottom there. So if I just run that again, and we do it in uh, 1280 by 720, which is the smallest resolution it currently works in, and I play. Yeah, so there we go. So we've got a throttle meter here, which is interactable. Well, that's interesting, it drags through the window. Uh, there was a fix for that, I can't remember what it is, so I'll have to find it. I haven't got uh, pips working on these yet, I need to make a prefab for, for like sliders that puts pips on there. Uh, this one is marked as non-interactable, so it shouldn't interact. That one isn't, I think I've made a mistake there. Oh, I've still got some little uh, bits of debug GUI in the bottom corner here, which are getting in the way. Uh, in fact, actually that's stopping me clicking on things. That's interesting. Uh, so then what we've got is the filters here, so these aren't in the check radio button group, so you can click these and select multiples. There needs to be a, when you click all, it will automatically select everything. Uh, the sorting is in, um, it is in a, a radio button group, so that will uh, do stuff. Uh, just one moment, I'm going to turn off the music. I pause. You can't pause recording, that's annoying. Right, I'm back. Just turned off the music in the other room. So, what you can see is the rough GUI layout. Um, these, obviously, as I said, I want to change. The sensor contacts down here will all be color coded. The buttons up the top come up quite nicely. Um, and they're going to either switch switch windows, open up mode or windows, that sort of stuff. My GUI is going to fold everything down and then there's buttons here that will fold down individual tabs. This one needs a fold down button as well which I haven't put in yet. Uh, this button up here folds in the, the log. What I might do is just move that there and when you click it it folds the log out when you click it again it folds it back in again. And this log is going to show things like uh, you know player A, shot player B, did 10 HP of damage, that sort of stuff. Uh, as you can see, we've got my slightly buggy f follow me code here, which doesn't. Uh, I, I never got the the orbit mode working in the in the real thing, uh, so that needs a bit of work. There's also, if you if we zoom in, you can kind of see these trails here. This is um, a scaling problem. So all of the 3D models are really really tiny. Um, so I've made a, I made like a list of notes of things that aren't working. Uh, where are we? Yeah, so I've got my handy logbook here. Uh, yeah, so there is a whole load of problems with the world coordinate system, which I wasn't going to do today because I've been focusing on getting this working. Uh, but this is roughly what the play screen is going to look like. So. I'm interested to see what people say. I know that these buttons down here haven't come up as well as I wanted. Um, so I need to rethink how the module buttons work. Uh, yeah. But other than that, I'll be interested to see what people think. And uh, thanks for watching. Rock on. And I'll see you in the next video, which will hopefully not be in two months' time. Alright, awesome guys. Bye.